Today, let's have some fun with patterns. Let's start by taking n equal to 5. If we use a print statement to print a star followed by a space, multiplied by n, it simply prints 5 stars in a single line. Now, if we add a for loop for i in range of n to this print statement, it repeats the star line 5 times, creating a square of stars with 5 rows and 5 columns. Next, we reverse the triangle by changing the loop range to go from n down to 0 with a step of minus 1, using 4i in range of n, 0, minus 1. Along with that, we also update the print statement. Instead of printing n stars every time, we now print i stars, so it decreases with each line. This reduces the number of stars from 5 down to 1 and prints a reversed left-aligned triangle. To move this triangle to the right, we add spaces in front of the stars by multiplying spaces by n minus i inside the print statement. Then, we print the stars in decreasing order, forming a right-aligned inverted triangle. Now, let's go back to increasing stars, this time using 4i in range of 1 to n plus 1. We just remove the extra spaces from the print statement and print i stars in each line. This prints stars from 1 to 5 in each row and creates a left-aligned triangle. Now, if we add spaces in front, by multiplying a space with n minus i inside the print statement, it pushes the stars to the right. This forms a right-aligned triangle, growing from 1 to 5 stars. Next, we want to center the triangle like a pyramid. Here, we use single spaces instead of double spaces before the stars, so the triangle looks more symmetrical and balanced. This gives us a center-aligned pyramid of stars. Finally, to complete the diamond shape, we first print the pyramid as before. Then we print it in reverse. Starting from n minus 1 and going down to 0 with a step of minus 1 with the same space alignment. This forms a full diamond made of stars. This is how we can play with loops. If you understand loops clearly, you can create all kinds of cool patterns. Try it yourself, have fun, and follow Python Buzz for more easy Python tips.